We're more than a month away from the Supreme Court possibly overturning the landmark Roe v. Wade decision. In the meantime, tonight, Baltimore city leaders are working to prepare for a potential influx of women seeking abortions in our state where the procedure is protected. WJZ's Live, Annie Rose Ramos has details on this new resolution and who supports it. Annie Rose. Well, Vic, this resolution passed. They voted unanimously for it here at the city council meeting earlier tonight. But leaders and activists here told me earlier that it's really about preparing our region for what could come. Vic, for a time when women are coming from across the country and across the state right here for abortion services. The motion is approved. The resolution has been adopted. Thank you. Baltimore City's newest resolution revolving around abortion access. To create a fund to support reproductive health. City council leaders fighting for funding from the mayor and governor in light of the Supreme Court's possible decision to reverse Roe versus Wade. Let's be clear, for some women, this is about life and death. Pledging to push for more money to help the already growing demand for abortions in Maryland. Patients from Texas right here in Baltimore today. We already have folks from all over the eastern seaboard come to Baltimore to receive abortion care. Maryland voted to protect abortion access back in 1992. This July, a new law will go into effect allowing non-physicians to perform abortions. The governor vetoing it. What this bill did was to lower the, the quality of care and allow people that aren't doctors to perform abortions. This is a governor who likes to go on MSNBC and claim to be a moderate and say that he is the common sense adult in the room. Well, guess what? The vast majority of Americans support reproductive health care. So he is in the extreme position. Now with the Supreme Court decision fast approaching, a resolution preparing for what could come. If Roe were to be weakened or overturned, abortion rights would likely be stripped in more than half of the U.S. states which means Maryland would become a receiving state for those traveling here. This resolution centers abortion funds, which are so critical in fighting this fight. Now, Vic, in a statement from the mayor, Mayor Brandon Scott, he says he supports the city council's efforts to protect abortion access and reproductive rights. Now, we also reached out to the governor specifically about this resolution. We have yet to hear back. Reporting live, I'm Annie Rose Ramos for WJZ.